Maybe nowhere in the world will climate change have as severe an impact as in the delta of Bangladesh. The people of Bangladesh are already facing the consequences of climate change and their traditional knowledge about the seasons and the floods is challenged by the changing weather. Experts estimate that the sea level will rise at least 45 centimeters during the next 40 years. In Bangladesh, this means that 5.5 million people will have to migrate to higher grounds, in what is already known as one of the most densely populated areas in the world. But climate change also affects the land that remains above the sea. The increasing numbers of storms are pushing seawater into the rivers and flooding the land. The consequence is a high level of salt in the soil, which affects the production of food negatively. Asiya Begum is a widow and lives with her old mother and her two sons of 12 and 14 years, who are both working as daily workers to support the family. Because of the lack of irrigation and the salty soil, Asiya and her family have never been able to have more than one crop a year on a small piece of land. In 2008, ActionAid Bangladesh began a climate change adaptation program with the support of the Embassy of Denmark. The aim was to increase the resilience of livelihood and adaptive capacity amongst people in selected villages. The program aims to help the communities identify and address their own problems and possible solutions. The community in Asiya's village decided to try out some new varieties in seeds and farming methods to get better yield from the same land. Together with another family, Asiya Bacon volunteered to be part of the experiment. They were given three different varieties of seeds to test and were trained to use the seeds. <laughs> With a better irrigation system, fertilizers and insect traps, yield is almost doubled and it has also increased the possibility of producing vegetables in the next season. The pilot project will run for two years in five vulnerable districts in the Ganges Delta and with the knowledge Asya and others have got through this project they might just be able to retain their livelihoods. Asya hopes she can stay where she lives now and that the government and other agencies will support them to further adapt to climate change.